I was born in China, I grew up in Hong Kong. I came in a food ship, like Hong Kong came in a food ship. Stay here for 50, over 55 years already. I raised my family in here. I think she is a role model because she came to Canada as a young girl to marry my dad at a time where she could not speak the language. She did not understand the culture of North America. She's a girl that was raised in China and came with certain expectations and was, I think, completely blown away with what she saw. Mom told me that she only saw a picture of dad and she was not even sure if that picture was the right person. To be truthful, when I became a mother, I realized the sacrifices that my mother gave uh, for our family. She is, bar none, the most amazing woman and her story is one that needs to be shared, absolutely. She has a restaurant up in Fort Chippewan still. Um, after my dad passed away, she then became the sole proprietor of that restaurant. My dad passed away when my mom was very young and it was very, it was very sudden, so it was a hard thing for us to come to grips with as a family, but we stuck together and my mom was the head of that and she kept us all together, so we kept focused on moving forward. And a demonstration of how strong she is, is that when dad was alive, he was the one that was out front and she was the one in the back. When dad passed away, she then had to become the face of Athabasca Cafe. This last one come, uh, built up long ago, my husband's father, Charlie Ma. He built this cafe in the 19, I say 27 and generation to generation to my son or my husband, three generations already. Mom's story is like a movie. It's something when I tell people, they're like shocked. What? Your mom moved from China to come to North America to marry a man she didn't know, to live in a land that she had no idea where she was going. Uh, it is unbelievable the sacrifices that she had, especially coming from a woman like me who's had all the luxuries in life. I, I've had the luxury of going to school, having an amazing career, a second career. I was able to choose the man that I love and I had the choices that my mother was never given. And because of her, I've been allowed to live the life that I live today. Me, myself, I proud myself. I raised my six children, everybody got a job, finished school. I would say my dad is probably just sitting back up in heaven now, having his cigarette and saying, way to go. Every time I swept the floor, every potato that I peeled, I mean, taught me to be a hard worker. And I have to thank my mom for that. Um, so I just wanna to say today, thank you, mom, and you deserve this award. Congratulations. <laughs>